Hey guys, it's Rally here, and welcome to episode 22 of Let's FIFA 17. And in this episode, as per usual, we, as we've done in the last couple of episodes, we sold on some more bronze players. I have many of them still on my transfer list, and I guess they just make me a nice little profit every now and again. And apart from that, I wanted to build a new squad in this episode around the player of the year, Mike Jensen card. It looks so good in the midfield that I thought, let's sell on our false nine squad and try and build a squad around him. So uh, yeah, we list up all the players. Of course, we had uh, Untradeable Son and two lone players, which wouldn't sell on for anything. But uh, Dembele and Costa definitely went for quite a bit on the transfer market, such that we end up with 80,000 coins after having sold on everyone. And uh, yeah, I actually see an inform in here as well, because I picked up the inform which you need for... Uh, the squad building challenge and as I picked him up another one popped up on the market really really cheap for 10,000 coins I picked him up right away and sold him for around 12,000 coins and apart from that it cost me I guess 14,000 coins to get the Jensen card which is not too bad the card looks very very good the only downside is he's a little bit tricky to link up so uh, after I've gotten him I spent 80,000 coins to build a squad around him so starting off in the goalkeeper position we got Bekovic a player I hate to come up against because he is quite tall and he seems to save everything. And I believe he got the long throw trade as well. So uh, for cheap coins, you get a pretty good goalkeeper, in my opinion. And then went, uh, I went with the core of a Chelsea defense in Suma and Cahill. On the left back, I had to pay quite a bit to get a strong link to Mike Jensen. A silver player and well, he got pace, which sort of works on the game, I suppose. Uh, all his other stats are pretty bad, to be honest. And I had to pay 5,000 coins for him. And uh, most of his car went for around, I don't know, 9 to 10k. Just because of the Mike Jensen card. Everybody is trying to get that player. Uh, so he's a little bit overpriced at this stage. But uh, I was a little bit patient. And uh, I picked up other players and went back and checked a couple of times on the Skjelwick card. And eventually got listed up for cheap. Oh, well, cheap and cheap. 5,000 coins. Picked him up. Got an inform Pereira on the right back. Very good stats on him. Another silver in this squad in Hoiberg. His stats are not like amazing but they are all right for center mid in my opinion um he, he can distribute the ball and uh yeah then we've got Cosello on the right center mid spot so our midfield is not the most creative one it's a midfield that can win the ball and uh, then we'll rely on our front three to get the goals for us that's sort of what i was thinking so on the center attacking mid we do have ex uh, who scored a wonderful goal yesterday uh, and if you haven't seen it, be sure to check out YouTube or something. Uh, as a Dane, when the Danish national team doesn't do too well, it's nice to see them at least get a victory, even though it was against Kazakhstan. Anyways, uh, we have Balotelli on the top as well. Wanted to test him out. I could not afford his inform. Maybe we'll get him in the long run. Who knows? And finally, I went with inform Brathwaite up on the top as well. Uh, got the pace, shooting up great, decent physical stats. And uh, yeah, then we get to try out some Danish players as well to see how they play on the game. So instructions-wise, I made my two strikers get in behind and then I was sort of rely as, on Eriksen as my playmaker. I made Hoiberg stay back uh, just because I like my central center mid to sort of be defensive and my fullback stay back as well. Now, I suppose Cusciello might be the better player for the DM position because... He got the high defensive work rate and medium attacking. Uh, I believe Hoiberg got high, high, if I'm right. So um, Hoiberg will also push forward. However, I guess it will be all right as my def my midfield overall is sort of strong defensive. So I think it will uh, it'll do okay. Anyways, we're jumping into the first match with the squad. We're into Division 5. And we're up against a 4-1-2-1-2 squad. And that is a really, really strong La Liga squad. All around defense, midfield, attack. Very, very uh, strong squad. And I got a terrible start. My opponent broke me down right away and took a shot. But luckily, he went over the goal. And there was us to get a chance. Cheeky little scoop pass to Eriksen. And how did I miss that? I do not know. Because apart from that, Eriksen and Brathwaite turned out to be pretty stellar players. I quite like playing with them. Uh, Brathwaite, of course, very, very quick. Felt good on the ball to dribble weight. We got a little bit lucky to keep the ball here. We played on through to Balotelli. Turning around, trying the near post shot. And I suppose those shots... Doesn't really work this year. I'm still in the habit of doing them from FIFA 16, even though we're like uh, quite a few weeks into the game, and I guess one and a half months, if not two. Uh, but I still do those shots, and they seem to be saved 
pretty much every time. Anyways, we got the goal with Brathway, the little skill to break on through. And the same skill for me, Eriksen. And I tried for the chip, but I took it a touch too late. And the keeper would save that one, unfortunately. We'll continue on. Cusiello, our white to Brathway. Brathway, he would go a little ball to cut in behind. Find the Eriksen. The Eriksen with the fake. And yet again, I go for the near post shot. I should really go across goal there. I think those will have a way bigger, bigger chance of going into the back of the net. But we want a corner. And from that corner, it's to Eriksen. Eriksen with a couple of skill moves. Bringing on through into the box. And I quite do like playing with this card. It's the first time I'm testing him out this year. But he feels good on the ball. And with that five-star Wickford, you can definitely distribute the passes from anywhere. But the shooting, well, I was not quite able to put the ball into the back of the net with him. Nonetheless, we won 1-0 in this match. And my opponent had that chance right at the start of the game. And that was the only thing he got. The squad stood solid in the defense. I created lots of chances, but I only got one goal for myself, and that's just down to me and my finishing. It just isn't that great. I, I, that, I feel like that is the one aspect of my game I really need to work on, is putting the ball into the back of the net uh, when I get my chances. Anyways, uh, I picked up quite a lot of my players uh, for like the cheapest buy now, so uh, some of them were a little bit low on contracts and actually also fitness, which I didn't realize when I jumped into the first match. I forgot to check that stuff, but uh, Eventually, we add up some contracts on the players, a bit of fitness as well, and we jump in to another match with the squad. And uh, yeah, a, lot, a couple of players in sort of the mid 80s fitness, but I thought it would be okay to go with uh, before we jump over to the other squad and play with that. So uh, yeah, we continue with uh, the Mike Jensen squad, I guess we should call it. And we come up against a 4 3 3 mainly league on defense, but he also got a couple of French players from other leagues in the defense and uh, yeah we jump into the match 10 minutes played it's Eriksen on the ball sort of playing it forward and he just backed off me so I tried to be a little bit patient and in the end we turn around and again I go for that near post shot uh, I, I figure the next episode I'll try some more uh, across goal shots uh, it is that habit and as you see they just do get saved most of the time I get a little bit lucky here with Bradford break on through into the box but unlucky on the shot it hits the post could have used a little bit of luck there. Hoiberg on the ball, using the shielding nicely. A little panner on the player onto Eriksen. Eriksen plays it on through to Bradford. Bradford to Jensen. Jensen to Balotelli. And then I got a bit of a fail pass. Potter continue the play. And in the end, we get in for a shot. And we hit the post yet again. No luck. 55th minute on my opponent. He gets a corner. He'll cross it in. And this was my opponent's very first chance of the match. And I was a little bit frustrated with that goal. It's an annoying goal to give up because, again, my defense stood very, very solid in this match. But he scored on that one chance and my finishing capabilities were just not there. I could not put the ball into the back of the net. We break on through a Balotelli and it's blocked off. Um, and we had a lot of chances in this match, but scoring was not on the agenda at all. But Balotelli on the ball here, yeah, and we go with the spin, we take the shot. It's blocked off in the 72nd minute, and uh, as you can see, yeah, my opponent, he parked the boss, all played very, very defensive in the end, because we're pushing on, we're pushing on to try and get that goal, and in the end, we break on through into the box, we spin around, we get lucky, we take a shot, we take another shot, just put the ball into the back of the net, and finally, it's Eriksen to get me the goal in the 18th minute to make it 1-1. But this game should never have finished 1-1. He had his one shot, and we had 14-10 on target. And so, a little bit disappointing drawing, but then again, it's all right. We're still on a good run in the division on seven points from three matches. And the positive to take away from the squad we play with here is we only conceded two shots against us. We're unlucky that one of them went in over two matches, and we created a lot of chances. I just need to work on my finishing. So overall, the squad felt very, very good to play with, and we're going to continue playing with that squad as well as the 3 4 2 one squad. In the next episode, we'll continue in the divisions. But for now, we're going to end off the episode here, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and that's pretty much all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.